Hello little cuties and welcome to my channel Fixing the Hillbilly. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to take a, a wreath that my daughter bought me a couple years ago and we're going to spruce it up a little because it's getting a little bit worn and I'm going to turn it into a fall wreath. Now I'm calling this video not quite my own because this was actually bought. I'm just going to spruce it up. Now my name's Melinda and let's get started. Now, I decided to do this video because I had um, a couple of my friends tell me I would love to be able to sit down and make a wreath for my house, but I don't really have time. Um, so this, you can just take something that you already have and turn it into something else. I want to show you that you can do that without spending a lot of extra money and it doesn't take as much time. But there's no rules about making your wreath. You don't have to do it all in one day. So if you don't have a lot of time, you can actually do a little bit one day when you get home from work. Set aside just a little bit of time and let's say if you don't have time the next day, that's okay. Just do it the next day, work on it a little bit until you get it done. But if you don't have a lot of time to spare, you might wanna start your fall things early, like now so that you can get it completed before fall. Now, as I said, I'm just going to go through here and I'm going to cut off all those white daisies, which is actually my favorite flower, but it's more of a springtime flower, so we're not going to be doing that. Uh, we're going to turn this into a fall wreath. Now, I'll be honest, I really hated working with this wreath. Um, because all those little sticks, it's so pretty, but uh, what a mess. That was a, a big mess for me to clean up when I got finished with it. And I do know that my daughter had one of these hanging on her door, and the birds kept coming over and taking the little twigs out and taking them up to their nest and uh, putting them in their nest. So it was a little bit messy to deal with. Um, the little twigs come out real easy. But we got through it, ain't no big deal. So here you see, I'm just taking all those out. And then I'm also fluffing those sunflowers as I go. But like I said, you can do, you know, you can take a wreath apart and use the parts out of it. I got one from Walmart maybe, I don't know, three years ago. Because I, at that time I was working a lot and I really didn't have a lot of time to do wreaths at that time. So what I did was, is I just took it apart. Um, it had a lot of little pumpkins in it. I took it all apart and I used the pieces for actually one of my mesh wreaths that I did the following year. Now I got all those clipped off. So now I'm gonna start on uh, putting different things on there. Now I bought that little bag of leaves over there at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And this is uh, raffia and it's also a dollar. And then I just picked out some bows that I had, uh, ribbon that I'm gonna make a ribbon. Now today, I'm gonna show you how to make a ribbon without using my bow maker because it can be done. Because um, one of my friends told me, well, I don't have a bow maker, so I don't know how I would ever make it. And we don't, um, we don't live real close to each other, so I told her on my next video, I'm gonna show her how to make uh, a bow. You don't have to have two tails on it. You can have one tail. You can have two tails. You can do it with your hands. It's just that um, my wrist hurts sometimes holding it. But I did find a way to just lay it down and it makes it so much easier. Actually, I didn't have to dovetail that first one, but I was afraid it might pop out um, once I got it on the wreath. So if it did, it was already dovetailed but they usually don't come out. 
So all you do is, I'm measuring here, I'm taking that out about seven inches. And then once I get my, no, I'm sorry, that was eight inch measurement. That was, a, the first one was an eight inch measurement. And then I just fold it over a few times. And I just pull it down and then I'm just gonna pull it the other way flip it over and I don't think I have quite enough to to go over the whole way and give me a long enough tail so I elected just to cut it there and cut a tail now these ribbons each different ribbon that you have is only going to have one tail you can still do it the other way that I do it with the Easy Bow Maker, you're just going to be holding it with your hands. And like I said, I, I can still do that. It's just that, you know, it makes my hands sore after a while. So I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to put myself through that. Okay, now there's my first ribbon done. So then I'm going to grab another ribbon. Now, as you can see, if I would have had all these already laid out, it wouldn't have took as long to do this wreath. But I was just kind of winging it as I went because I really wasn't sure what all I was going to put in here, if you want the truth. I had some fall things there. I had some fall ribbon there. And by the way, I was over to the Dollar Tree just yesterday, and they still don't have their fall ribbon. Boy, that's aggravating. They got a lot of false stuff, but they don't have the ribbon. But it's okay. Gives me another excuse to go back. But there was one particular ribbon I was wanting for this, and um, I couldn't get it. Now, they do sell them online, but um, they want you to buy, like, a certain amount. Like, you can't buy just, like, two rolls of this and one roll of that or whatever. I mean, they want you to buy like 56 rolls. I was like, you, I, I'm, I'm no, <laughs> that's not gonna be happening. I don't need 56 rolls of ribbon. I need a couple rolls of ribbon. Plus if I ordered 56 rolls of ribbon and put it in here and my husband had to put up one more shelf in my craft room, I don't think he'd appreciate it too much. It's just more for me to store. I don't want to do that. Now, I don't really decorate for Halloween. Um, it's just not something I do. Oh, right here I'm showing that was $9.99. Uh, but there was 30 feet of that. And I got it from uh, Hobby Lobby. I got a 40% off coupon on that. So... I got that pretty reasonable, and I like that ribbon. I used it for a lot of different things. It was real pretty. But what I was saying is, I don't really decorate for Halloween too much. I just don't. I pass out candy to the kids. I always decorate for fall and harvest. That's my favorite. Um, my daughter has a full yard of decorations for uh, Halloween. I will be recording that this year because... Honestly, she does such a good job. It's so impressive, um, the things in her yard uh, she has out. She has those big animatronic things, and she's built a lot of stuff, and the kids in the neighborhood just love it. So I will be going down there to record that uh, to show y'all how good it looks. But I am going to be making a few Halloween wreaths because... I know a lot of people like putting those on their door. And I may even put one on my door this year. I don't know. Uh, I don't usually go all out decorating. But I might do a wreath or... I think last year I did a... Uh, I think I did do a Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse on my porch. That had um, Halloween stuff on it. Maybe. Maybe that was Christmas. I don't know. That was last year. That was a long time ago. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking some of that raffia and I'm just pulling it out. Now, that stuff is a little bit messy, but I'll tell you what, it really adds um, a different dimension to your wreath and it gives it a little bit more different texture. And I don't know, it just makes it to me just look, you know, just fall. I love it. 
So I did cut some of that off. And then I had to go back and cut some more because it wasn't letting me, wasn't letting me go. Now you just bunch that up. Now you can actually make a bow out of that, and I have. Now I put my um, zip tie under there because remember, I'm gonna have to have something to attach um, the bow to the wreath. So I just put that all around there. And then I'm actually gonna hot glue a bow on top of that zip tie because I don't want that zip tie to show. So I will be putting another small bow, just a bow tie bow on top of that one. Now you're just gonna pull that tight Make sure that your zip tie is facing the right direction because if not, then you're gonna have to try to flip it over and, and all that. So you don't wanna have to do that. Okay. Now, once you get your zip tie on there. Now, some people do cut a few notches in that. It does make it flare out a little bit better but I'm always scared I'm going to cut the thing in half and then, you know, you've wasted all that ribbon. So you do, you can do it, but you just have to be real careful. And if you notch it and put your zip tie around, you see I'm having a little bit of trouble getting those out. And I think I went a little short on that one end, but that's okay. It'll all look good in the end. So I'm just going to continue to fluff that out. Pull those, um, hoops out and fluff those up. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and get in there and start attaching my bow. I did leave a bare spot for that bow that I'm going to put right in there. Now remember, I had the zip ties on there, but if it's too big, and this was actually uh, a little bit too big for that zip tie, that space was. And if that's the case, all you do is go in and add another zip tie to the end of it. Uh, I clipped that off so I could see what was what. It was a little bit, couldn't tell what was where. But anyway, um, what I did was I actually went in here and attached another zip tie to the end of that. Looks like I need some more glasses. <laughs> Because I'm having myself a time there, I reckon. Goodness, goodness. Okay, so I finally got it attached. I forgot about that until I was doing my voiceover. Alright, so now I've got a lot more room to work with. And then you can pull it tight. So, you know, it's not going to matter uh, one little bit. But just be prepared if you work with one of these frames. My goodness, what a mess. I had to run the sweeper and everything. Now, once I got that uh, bow attached, what I did is took my little bow tie bow that I made so I could cover up that zip tie and just put right there in the middle. And then that covers all, you know, all that up. Now, what I'm going to start doing is putting some leaves in there and decorating this and getting this uh, to look a little bit more like a fall wreath versus a spring-summer wreath. So, I'm going to put on some music for us like I normally do, and let's keep crafting. Wheels in motion 
It's so 
you from across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kind of strange Don't even know your name
I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide Now here is our end result. Um, so basically we just took something that was old and you know someone might have thrown out and transformed it into something new. I want to thank you for watching my channel today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We sure do appreciate that around here. And always remember you were born to do great things. So stay strong in the Lord. Never give up hope. And always take time to pray. It's important. See you next time.